Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series we're taking a look at how to build your own PC, in this episode specifically we're taking a look at the power supply. Now the power supply is basically what it sounds like. It is a unit that powers everything that goes into your PC. Now the power supply plugs into the wall on the one side and into all the components inside the computer. And you want to be sure that everything that is in there is able to be powered by the power supply unit. Now the rating of the power supply is measured in something called watts, which is the amount of power it can generate simultaneously. To be sure that your power supply can supply power properly to all the components inside your machine, you'll probably want to check with one of the power supply calculators online. These things will allow you to add in all of the different components that you have in the system or plan to put in the system and can tell you roughly what wattage you'll need for your system. I always suggest going a little bit higher than the rating that you'll get using the power supply calculator because you'll want a little bit of room to be able to add some components in down the road. Modern power supply units have a number of different connectors attached to them including power for the motherboard, power for all the components like hard drives using old school cables, power for some of the video card adapters, and power for your serial ATA drives. Now if you have a power supply that's like an old school power supply, it'll have all of the wires attached directly to the power supply unit. And this is handy because they're all in one place, but it's also not handy because you don't necessarily need all of the connectors that are in here. You may only need three and there might be 12 of them in here, which means that you'll have a nest of wires inside the case. So some of the newer units are going to a system that uses something like rails. Instead of having all of the wires attached directly, it has a bunch of connectors on the back of the power supply unit, the one that is inside the uh, computer itself, and then you'll attach only the cables that you need, which will keep things a little bit more streamlined inside. This is the one that we've gone for. We've decided to go with this Ultra one. It's a 1,000 watt power supply, and it has the rail system, which means we won't have a whole pile of cables inside. Now, on the back of your case, typically at the top of the case, you'll see a hole where your power supply will go. There'll generally be a spot inside the case where you can stick the power supply in and push it up into place. There's typically a fan inside the power supply, and make sure that's pointing down towards the system itself, otherwise it'll be hitting the top of the case. Line up the power supply with the screw holes in the case or in the bracket, and then screw it into place. On the motherboard, you'll typically see two power connectors. The larger one, generally away from the CPU, and then another one a lot closer to the CPU that's a bit shorter. You'll want to connect both of these now to the power supply. The connectors will typically be keyed so that they can only go in in one direction. Push them until they snap into place. We're going to need the rest of these connectors when we hook up the rest of the components, like the hard drive, the video card, etc. So we're going to keep these handy for later on. If you have one of the machines that has just all of them connected in a ball, just tuck them away off to the side so that they don't get in the way while you're putting the rest of the things in, and then we'll get to them later on. Don't forget as well, you'll need the big power cord. This goes out the back and connects to your wall, so keep that handy as well. That's it for the power supply on this. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we'll show you how to put the other parts into this system. Don't forget to check out the show notes at Butterscotch.com.